Hitsugaya is the young prodigy of the Gotei 13 because he is the youngest Shinigami to have ever attained the rank of captain. Leading the 10th division, he takes his role seriously and he appears to have the correct attitude to fulfill the responsibilities that are expected of him. One of the key requirements needed to become a captain is to have achieved Bankai, which is the second release of a Zonpak Do. As we are already aware, Bankai is a powerful transformation that can take over 10 years to learn and master. Hitsugaya, for the most part, had been utilizing an incomplete version of his Bankai, and it isn't until the final arc that we learn that there is yet a further level to his power that he has yet to reveal. In this video, we will be talking about one of Hitsugaya's greatest moments within the Bleach manga, as we are about to cover everything that there is to know about the completed Daiguren Hyorin Maru. Before the video begins, only 12% of the people who watch my content are subscribed to the channel. If you enjoy these videos, then subscribe and stick around for more content just like this. Now let's get back to the topic of the video. One of the earliest instances of foreshadowing that we have about Hitsugaya's latent potential and the fact that his Bankai is not complete is when he reveals in chapter 359 that he does not like to use the ability Tenso Juren because it is an aspect of his powers that he has not completely mastered. He can use this ability in both his Shikai and his his Bankai, as it allows him to control the weather around him through manipulating the water in the atmosphere. He prefers not to use this ability in his Bankai state because he isn't certain that he can control it enough to prevent any injuries to his comrades who are nearby. In chapter 538, through his inner monologue, we learn that Hitsugaya had started to train intensely after his battle against Aizen during the fake Karakura Town arc. Realizing that he wasn't strong enough to stop Aizen, he had started work on strengthening his Bankai over the course of 18 months. He states that at the end of his training, he leveled up his Bankai to a true Bankai state. So we can safely confirm that Hitsugaya's pre-thousand year Blood War arc Bankai was incomplete and not the final form of his power. Daiguren Hyorin Maru wasn't fully matured, which explains why he was always losing in pretty much every battle that he had taken part in. This was one of the reasons why the popularity of his character declined over the course of the serialization of Bleach. Hitsugaya during the Ironka arc was actually one of the most popular characters, as Vol voted for by fans in the character popularity polls, but in 2022 the hype surrounding his character has notably died down. Thankfully, the endgame of the Thousand Year Blood War arc manages to squeeze in one of Hitsugaya's greatest moments, which reminds us of why he is such a beloved character within the series. During the Thousand Year Blood War arc, we had the reveal of several Bankais, like Urahara's, Shunsui's and Kimpachi's, just to name a few, and the true Bankai reveal of Ichigo and Renji. We know that a Bankai can continue to grow and evolve through Mayuri's Bankai which he can modify to take up a new form with enhanced abilities. Hitsugaya's Bankai on the other hand was not fully matured. It wasn't that he was using a false Bankai like Renji or Ichigo or that he had modified it like Mayuri. Hitsugaya in fact needed to undergo further training to unlock the completed form of his Bankai. This makes him a unique case study in understanding the progression of a Bankai form from its incomplete to complete state. This is pretty believable because he is a boy wonder who has a long way to go before before he reaches his full potential. His height alone should reveal to you that he isn't a fully grown Shinigami. Hitsugaya is an easy target for being underappreciated, but factually he has achieved more than any other Shinigami at his current age. He has made history for being the youngest Shinigami to have attained captain rank, and all of these facts put together helps us to understand why Kubo had made him undergo this incredible, unexpected transformation at the end of the Thousand Year Blood War arc. Hitsugaya's Bankai Daiguren Hyorin Maru is first revealed within chapter 170, and upon activation, ice covers Hitsugaya's body, with his hands and his feet turning into ice claws. He has two large ice-shaped wings that form from his back, which are also accompanied by an ice tail. During certain instances of his Bankai being activated, three flowers appear behind him. Each flower is made up of four ice-shaped flower petals. Over the course of the battle, these flower petals gradually disappear, and we learn in chapter 670 that his Bankai reaches its completed form once the final flower petal falls to the ground. In his incomplete Bankai form, Hitsugaya can freeze anything around him, including the surroundings and nearby people, which is pretty similar to how he uses his power in his Shikai state. In chapter 234, we learn that his Bankai can be continuously healed as long as there is moisture in the atmosphere. This was after his Bankai was damaged during his battle against the Arankar Lupi. Another useful ability that he has within his Bankai form is the power to create 
create an ice puppet. This is a lifelike replica of himself which he typically reserves to use at the end of a battle because he can only trick his opponents with this replica once. We see him use this ability against Harry Bell in chapter 355. Prior to his completed Bankai reveal, his most powerful ability was Hyoten Hyakaso. He had used this to defeat Harry Bell. This power is an extension of his Shikai ability Tenso Juren, which I'd spoke about earlier. This involves him creating a hole in the clouds as snow begins to fall onto his opponent. And when it comes into contact with the target, ice flowers begin to appear all over their body, as it traps them in a tall tower made up of ice. Now I've spoken a lot about Hitsugaya's maturity for his age, and one moment that truly embodies this trait is his reaction to having his Bankai stolen. In chapter 538, while training to prepare for the Quincy's next invasion, he tells himself to let go of what he has lost, because he doesn't have time to dream about the day that his Bankai will return to him. Instead, he focuses his efforts on looking ahead and training his basic combat skills and his Shikai, since he can no longer rely on his Bankai after it was stolen. This attitude is exactly the reason why Hitsugaya is a prodigy. He knows what needs to be done and does not linger for too long on what he has lost. You can see that having lost his Bankai has affected him, but he has enough emotional intelligence to continue pushing forward, because he knows that they don't have any time to waste on feeling defeated right now. The completed Daigoren Hyoren Maru is revealed within chapter 670, during his battle against the Sternritter Gerard Valkyrie. Byakuya and we as the audience had assumed that Hitsugaya was at his limit, as we had thought that the flower petals behind him had represented his remaining power. He tells Byakuya that he had never said that his limit is reached after all the flower petals fall. He reveals that once all of the ice flowers have fallen, this is when his Bankai Daigoren Hyoren Maru is complete. The final form of his Bankai is revealed as we see an incredibly cool adult form of Hitsugaya. Now everything that I have stated about Daigoren Hyoren Maru not being fully mature is confirmed by Hitsugaya here, as he reiterates that his power is not fully developed yet to gain full control over his Bankai. This is why he transforms into an adult form when his Bankai activates its completed state. He goes on to say, that he doesn't like this adult form much, which is such a typical Hitsugaya thing to say. It is like he enjoys the challenge of battle and these powerful forms and abilities make it too easy for him to have the upper hand against the enemy. This is once again further emphasized in chapter 673 when Renji and Rukia see him in this new form and they assume that it is Hitsugaya's older brother, which he is more than happy to play along with. Through becoming older, he is now able to use his power at its full potential, as he appears to have had a significant growth spread. He has a new taller appearance appearance with ice covering his shoulders, knees and arms. He demonstrates the power to instantly freeze objects that are fired at him when Gerard launches his shield towards him, and he freezes it solid with a simple raise of his hand. He does the same thing when the Sternritter attempts to cut him down with his oversized blade. After he freezes it, he cuts the blade in two, stating that once something is frozen, it ceases to properly function. When Gerard materializes a Quincy bow, Hitsugaya activates the ability Shikai Hyoketsu. This attack takes about 4 seconds to charge up and it has the power to freeze the four elements of earth, fire, water and wind. After breaking free, he grabs him in his hand, but Hitsugaya asks him if he had really thought that he would be unscathed after touching him in this new form. We learn that his opponent can also be instantly frozen after touching him only momentarily. In chapter 672, after it seems as though Gerard has been defeated, Hitsugaya is seen to be incredibly exhausted. He is stopped from falling to the ground by Byakuya, who comments on how his completed Bankai form seems to be taking a heavy toll on his body. Hitsugaya admits that he is almost at his limit, after having been in this form for such a short amount of time. Chapter 680 is the last time that we see Hitsugaya in his adult form, as he reacts to Gerard having his powers taken from him after Yuhabak activates Aswalan. Hitsugaya's transformation justified a lot of the hype surrounding his character after the Bleach manga had ended. This form reveals that he has the potential to become one of the strongest captains of the Gote 13. Because he is fairly young, he he needs to age his body to use the completed form of his Bankai. That I can only assume he had awakened during the 17 months after Aizen's defeat. We only got to see him use this form for a couple of chapters and he only showcased two abilities, so there is plenty of room for elaboration and growth when it comes to this form. Despite being able to summon the completed form of Daigoren Hyoren Maru, Hitsugaya is far from mastering and controlling its power. At some point when he has order, I believe that he has the potential to wield a blade that is as powerful as Ichibei's or Head Captain Yamamoto's. But at present, he is doing incredibly well for his age, and I really look forward to seeing him activate this form again during the hell arc of the Bleach manga, whenever Kubo gets around to releasing more of it. So in the end, what did you think about Hitsugaya's completed Daigoren Hyoren Maru? Were you surprised
surprised as I was upon seeing this incredible adult transformation. Did you pick up on all of the foreshadowing about Hitsugaya's Bankai being incomplete? I really look forward to reading all of your comments on this fascinating form, and if you agree with me that Hitsugaya has the potential to become one of the strongest captains, if given the time to reach that level. Definitely continue the discussion in the comments, and lastly, thank you for making it to the end of this video, and I can't wait to see you in my next Bleach Explained video. If you enjoy my content, then you can support my channel through Patreon for as little as a dollar a month, or even through YouTube by becoming a channel member. You will gain access to exclusive channel perks and a Discord server which I frequently use. So become a member of my Zero Division and be the first to know about my upcoming videos. And once again, thank you for sticking around till the end of the video, and whatever you contribute will mean a lot to me.